Hello, welcome to the video, welcome to the channel, I'm SimTwitch and welcome back to Forza Motorsport 7 Online. First of all, big shout out to O2R Starchy again. This was taken from his open lobby uh, on like the 23rd of September. Um, sorry to Greek, I think that was. Um, I didn't expect him to be on the outside of me. I am by far the slowest in this lobby. I think most of the cars I used I felt quite comfortable in at the tracks. Um, the worst one, car choice by far, uh, comes up in like race 4. So we start at Brands Hatch 15 laps um, with two quick stops. And yeah, it started okay. The launch on this Alpha is really good. It had similar handling to these guys. I think. Um, Picasso backed out there, uh, which was wise to do because I ran straight onto the grass and immediately lost a load of ground to everyone. And I didn't really see anyone for the rest of the race. Um, not only are these guys much quicker than me, they don't make mistakes like I do. Um, I just endlessly make mistakes. I think I took my first stop on lap 12, uh, just hoping that I could either have someone uh, behind me so I could have a little battle with someone um, but obviously I think most people didn't want to battle because I'm much slower than them um, but Starchy came out of the pits in front of me here and I was trying my best to follow him and it worked for a few corners I think I did better here than I did um, in the race that I started speaking to him about which was Lime Rock in Forza GT earlier this week, maybe last week, I don't know what the uploading schedule is like at the minute, I'm trying to prep for when you get to the pressure point, um, and I know I'm also going to be slotting in a game releasing on Monday for me, and I'm actually going to upload the video, that video the day the game comes out, or I intend on doing it, I'm going to stay up until midnight and play it. Um, so they're making a hash of that corner. Um, I was just trying to watch what he was doing in front and try and take better lines um, and it didn't, I think it helped a little bit, I, I felt um, I was getting on the power a little bit better, um, more at the right points. So I, I made up positions from people pitting but I was a long way off the pace that you can see probably two or three seconds here um, and I think that was generally everyone was two or three seconds up the road from me I think I may have had about a second off the guy who finished in front of me um, I, I just kept making silly mistakes and I think I may have been able to keep up if I'd had like, a good lap every time this car I felt good about going into this, um, the Ford Falcon 92, I had a good race here the other day on it, um, so the launch I knew was not great, um, it was just going to spin its wheels because I don't have it, and then unfortunately I just got caught slightly on Picasso, um, and he's actually using the RX-72 that I have by Quantum 17 and he was in this lobby as well so yeah I feel I, it kept sort of happening where off of the line because they were doing it reverse grid and obviously I was starting at the front for pretty much every race I just had a little awkward contact with someone and I tried to let them go but then the whole grid sort of got past um, just because of the nature that guy going all the way around the outside of me and he sort of do a really embarrassing mistake I was trying to leave space for him on the outside knowing he was going to come through because uh, he pitted quite early and I grinded against that wall uh, on the inside before we ran out the outside of me um, it spun the car so that lost me quite a lot of time um, I think it was like mid race so Picasso going off and Scribbles I think that is um, 
He was also in last night's uh, lobby with JSR, not JSR, LZR Rossi. Um, and they're making a silly mistake getting caught on the wall. So, yeah, I, I'm just holding up these guys at the minute. Uh, not intentionally. This was probably quite a decent move. Um, There's nothing to ease off the break. But he had absolutely no power, did. I think his name is Nash. Nashley. Um, I think that's how his name was pronounced. He didn't have any power, uh, it seemed, in comparison to everyone else. So, right. Yeah. So he caught up to these guys briefly. There is. I think that's Quantum 17 himself. And yeah, I get on the brakes but then run it a little bit too deep into the corner and don't get a good exit. Um, making up positions for people in the pits. But that was about all I was really going to see. Um, Mr. Tab, he goes through, he's certainly looking up the inside. I don't think he had much power either. Uh, comparison to me in this Falcon uh, um, but I think everyone else is running similar power to me in front um, it's just Barthurst is such a you either know it or you don't track um, but there he goes right around the outside of me uh, I was trying my best not to plant him into the wall all these drivers much quicker than me, I don't really want to piss any of them off. Um, my causing accidents with Harley. Um, so I could get invited by Starchy. I know it's his lobby, but I don't want to cause upset um, in these lobbies. Um, so I'm trying to keep it as clean as I can. I never intend on causing time. Sometimes it's just the car. Either I'm, it's a car I'm not familiar with or I just make a silly mistake and other people get caught up like I had quite a few big sim switches in the touring car lobby last night um, which is why I deliberately didn't use sim steering in these events uh, knowing these cars are all high power um, so yeah down into I think it's the chase I didn't have the power to keep up with these guys like, I pulled away from Nashley but I think that's only because he had a lack of power I think in every other race he was quicker than me. Um, and it's a shame these lobbies weren't as packed out. Um, it'd be nicer to have people who were sort of similar pace to me. Um, like in the touring car lobby, I did feel when I wasn't making mistakes, there were people similar pace to me. Um, so they were nearly maxed out. I think some race had about 23, 22 people in them. Uh, whereas this is like. 10 people at max, I think, finished any race. Um, so yeah, I I couldn't keep up around bar first. It's such a high skill circuit. I had a massive de deficit of lap time. Uh, I did manage to set a clean lap. Um, but yeah, 7 seconds at least off of the guys in front. And then this car, it's... I feel it's quite good, um, maybe just Le Mans Bugatti didn't suit it, I think I need some aero, um, I think this tune's by Baseman 500, and yeah, it, it doesn't have any aero, um, which I did realise going into this, um, but I was speaking to Starchy before the lobby, he said he was running about a thousand horsepower, this wasn't even a thousand plus, about 950 I think. Um, as you can see there, through that first chicane, sort of holding everyone up, and I can't get the power down like they can. They're just so much better than me, and I just sort of get shifted to the outside. Um, yeah, and all these good drivers pull away, basically. Um, but yeah, I was trying to follow their lines as best I could. I nearly took the Porsche, like Scribbles is driving. Um, his one had the exact same stats as my one tuned by TX3 Shelby. Um, performance wise I don't know how it would go. I ran it a little bit too deep there, lose a position to Greek. And I've got someone on my inside, it's Quantum 17 there in the Viper. And 
sort of just went for it on the brakes and yeah it wasn't the best move ran him a little bit deep so sorry about that yeah back we've basically just bled all the positions from starting like front of the grid uh, which was bound to happen it's just a shame it kept happening so quick uh, like just awkward contact I didn't want to just drive off um, from it so I sort of waited up and then everyone was able to go through so the guys behind pitted uh, which is quite understandable because I'd have only held them up uh, they'd have probably got through at the first chicane anyway so here is where I trialled going flat through here um, I immediately realised it wouldn't work and just kept it moving the lines I don't know if that was quicker um, than what I'd have regularly done so here Nashley, I believe he pitted much earlier than me uh, maybe even end of lap 1 in that Salinas 7 uh, I was trying to leave him room but trying to hold him to the inside and it did not work at all uh, I don't think he was running as much power as I was but he certainly could handle the car much better than I could um, and then behind the other guy I believe quit I think that's Riot Chevy Power because um, I expected him to come through as soon as I lost the position here uh, and taking this final corner I'd say better than Nashley there uh, and getting quite a good exit you can see that Celine does not have much power uh, in comparison to this and yeah that was uh, like the only overtake I made in the whole thing I think um, and I believe he peels off into the pits up here uh, not wanting to be held up so it's, sometimes it was bogging down I, I think I was probably the only one running track control in this lobby I just didn't want to make a fool of myself spinning out at every corner um, so that happened at Suzuka in the touring car lobby to yeah, get into the pits. Uh, the lobby dropped down to nine people, and predictably at Le Mans Bugatti, I was going to finish ninth. Uh, this would ordinarily be the weakest circuit um, of all these for me. I think I set a clean lap, uh, but it was about five seconds off the pace, which was to be expected, really. This was a big mistake. I forgot this car had drag tyres when I picked it. So you'll see the launch is quite insane and then this car does have about a thousand horsepower. Uh, I try to outbrake him, realise it has drag tyres and I have no feel for uh, the cornering, braking, turning in, I have absolutely no feel on drag tyres for anything. I don't I think I was the cause of that guy getting spun out behind, I think that was Mr. Tab, I hope I wasn't. Um, but you can see down the straight it's quite good. Um, and I nearly went for the 250LM that uh, D squared was running behind. Um, he had his own tune on it, whereas mine was someone else's. Um, I can't remember who's tuned for the 250LM, but it had identical stats, so I imagine it had been similar performance, and he, I believe, won this race uh, by quite a distance. Maybe not quite a distance, but he won it relatively comfortably, I think. Uh, obviously, I have no clue, because uh, running drag tyres, I couldn't finish this race. Um, I didn't see anyone. See, the 512 BBLM just goes straight around the outside of me there, of Picasso. Uh, I was trying to put the pad, this corner was agony in this car, um, and I think, yeah, this was a mistake in hindsight, maybe I was running the SRT Viper that I have, that sort of street tyres, or maybe the 250LM, it's just I thought maybe the 250LM was a bit too powerful, but it would have been better than this, because this is running drag tyres. Um, and I could not turn, so here starts he makes me look a fool. Uh, I didn't realise the, I think that's a Lotus Type 49, was so good in S Class. Um, I thought the old, like the really old F1 cars like that, would have been quite poor. Uh, 
so yeah it's it's good to see that there's a big variety of cars doing well um, and like ordinarily if this was an ordinary hopper I think I'd have probably done alright here it's just the fact that these guys are so quick uh, like ordinarily around a track this length they'd probably be 5 seconds up the road from me um, I think it was ge generally when I did pop that in when I initially started YouTube people were 5 seconds up the road from me um, on the long track and that's why I felt okay being um, like 3 seconds off round brands um, I think it was 3 or 4 seconds I was off round brands which is a track that takes quite a lot of commitment um, it's mainly that one corner uh, out the back section I'd say it's on the GP it's third to last quite proper corners um, there I think I surprised Tab by getting on the brakes and he waited up for me which I, I didn't expect him to do because uh, I was going to hold him up and he would have got the position here anyway so maybe that sort of ruined his race I hope it didn't um, it's just with drag tyres I didn't know what I was really doing it was so hard to get any feel for anything as um, so you see it blasts away on the straights and I try and take any corner it just doesn't want to know um, so this was the only race I believe I got DNF and then we hop over to the final one which I quite enjoyed it wasn't as long and I knew I was going to pick this car for this track uh, it was probably down on power to everyone else as we're going to see off of the line um, but it's about as powerful as I would drive at Long Beach um, and I never Long Beach the track just didn't occur to me also this was ghosted which is probably good because I wasn't holding everyone up um, so like here you can see I'm much later on the brakes um, and briefly take that first I think um, and here it's that roundabout section that I always get wrong on Long Beach so you can see I, I've not been horrendously pulled away from through the cornering section but I think that's mainly because of I have a handling car in comparison um, but yeah I, I quite enjoyed this one at Long Beach being ghosted and yeah I get that all wrong uh, I was trying to take a straight exit without cutting the corner it just didn't happen for me um, and yeah they got me quite quick the guys in front they can obviously <coughs> being a better driver they have the handling that I have but they have a lack of handling in the car in comparison um, and it's that final corner that I lost out again quite badly so XJ220 in front I feel I'm similar pace to it like initial acceleration I think that thing's quicker but he gets really early on the brakes and I'm not too sure why again this is naturally um, that I'm similar pace to I feel he was probably the person I was most similar pace to throughout it's just he's a lot more consistent um, I think he, he would be quicker um, in an evenly matched car I feel here I just have the handling advantage and I had quite a lot of confidence with this car um, like the Ford Falcon at road Bathurst I felt comfortable with the car it's just I can't really take the like, mountain section as well as everyone else um, and uh, Le Mans Bugatti was always going to be a horrible circuit for me Brands I feel was the best paced it's just I um, kept making a lot of mistakes you just dip a wheel onto the grass and it sort of bogs down um, and I need to learn 
to run, no traction control and sim steering much more consistently. I just didn't really want to make a fool of myself in here by DNFing in every race. Um, so we actually caught up to Nashley there, he made a bit of a mistake and the strength of this car into like what I'd call turn one. Um, I just feel like you could get really on the brakes late with it. So we're sort of easy into this race, getting more comfortable, that's something else I take a couple of laps to get a car and a track into my head, um, even if it's a car that I'm really comfortable driving. Um, and there you see I'm trying to turn in way too early, so I've got a lot to learn but I feel in the very few first few corners where I was with the top guys. I was sort of subtly picking up on ideas of lines where to get on the power, where to brake, um, where you could take more speed than you thought. So I know I looked like a fool in this lobby being massively off the pace, but I still enjoyed it. And I feel that being with these guys is going to help me learn, like racing in regular hoppers. I enjoy it and I generally do quite well um, but at the end of the day you are racing people who um, aren't as good at the game basically like in a standard hopper you're not going to get this quality of driver uh, I think mostly because they don't get any enjoyment out of it um, but yeah I, I enjoy being a part of these quick lobbies and I hope to be invited back to events and learn off people um, it's mainly just a big thank to O2R Starchy for being a really nice guy and inviting me to this sort of stuff he's also invited me to uh, a discord server with all these top guys in so yeah hopefully I can pick up some tips and tricks and get better and Maybe I'll be one day competent enough to give tips and tricks of my own. Um, I know I've done that assist video for like general use and it's still getting views I believe. Um, it's like the most viewed video along with that silly M&M's painting one. Um, where I made that M&M's livery. So I was having quite a good battle with Nashley here and I feel that I had the upper hand until here I just ran it way too deep and ran both around about and put it in the wall so yeah I, I enjoyed myself and there again just trying to take a bit too much speed trying to push a bit too hard um, I didn't want to like, finish well off the pace again um, but I did anyway because I made a couple of silly mistakes but yeah it's it's a learning curve and we're going to have a look at the end just to see my lap time. I hope you've enjoyed these videos. I know there's not so much wheel to wheel racing. Um, but I feel I'm learning from being with these top guys. Um, and I don't really mind having the piss taken out of me because... Yeah, at the end of the day I was never going to be as quick as them. But we'll see how the lap time compared. Yeah, it's basically a 22. I think it was 4 seconds off the pace but around Long Beach. I feel quite happy with that. So I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you have a great day. I hope to see you in the next one. And bye for now.